Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for 11 months, I'm excited to share some tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. I want everybody who is watching this video go into the Call of Dragons and check their inventory if you have an uh, item called Change Faction. Uh, this item, uh, for example, myself uh, brought a lot of questions. Uh, I got pretty bored a couple of times and I was going to change my faction. Then, like whenever I got more and more experience in the game, I understood that uh, changing faction is pretty important and you need to have a purpose behind it. Uh, that's why today's video will be about changing faction, uh, on, on which uh, time period or which uh, gameplay uh, should make you uh, change the faction. I'm gonna speak about every single scenario and of course um, I will wait uh, for your judgment, for your ideas or maybe I'm wrong in any kind of situation. At first we are going to speak um, regarding beginner players who are just starting the game. Uh, the obvious uh, question whenever you are on entering the Call of Dragons game is to choose the correct faction whenever you are a beginner, especially for a free-to-play player. There is three options, Spring Wardens, League of Order and uh, Wilderberg. Uh, I won't gonna go in too much details why you should uh, pick uh, exact uh, faction uh, whenever you are just starting the game uh, simply because I have already made the one by one guide about every single faction. Uh, strictly uh, if you are a beginner go for League of Orders uh, because whenever you are just starting the game uh, you need some time to understand the mechanics of the game, uh, how in general heroes are uh, played, how in, in general gameplay is done, what kind of tricks uh, are inside the game and system so whenever you will understand and um, like more details about the game then you will have a chance to change the faction but at first uh, doesn't really matter if you are a free to play player pay to win player you are going for league of order uh, the if we're gonna like briefly um, speak regarding faction bonuses um, league of orders bonus overlord gathering speed uh, is great uh, especially for the free to play players and players who are just starting the game uh, right now now also one big notice uh, league of order is mainly generally magic uh, unit type faction and i would recommend highly to play as a magic units for the free to play players and in general for players who are just starting the game uh, simply because mages have the highest range in the game uh, and it will be much much easier for you to understand the game uh, while playing in a more safe uh, legion type or more safe faction uh, especially for a, a special unit of the League of Order is also magic unit Celestials uh, which has like highest uh, range in general uh, mages has highest range in the game so like at first you will have a lot of uh, good vibes from the game whenever you will play as mages because uh, if you will straight up start with infantry or cavalry uh, your main wipes in the game will be dying against uh, pay to win players or in general wars. Also, Waldir as a starting hero for a beginner or not even for beginner you know, even later of the game is great hero. Uh, like uh, magic PvP skill talents are always great to have um, as a starting hero. And yep, like whenever you are deciding regarding first um, faction, uh, if you are going to the maximum value and maximum uh, profits, uh, you should go for League of Order and and uh, Walder will be a great choice for the uh, main starting faction. Uh, this was like for the beginners or for the people who are uh, starting to change the to starting to start the game uh, called Call of Dragons, which is very interesting, and I hope you will enjoy this game a lot. Now let's speak um, regarding players who are playing this game for a couple of months already, and they have many thoughts and uh, many. Uh, like questions uh, regarding this item uh, change faction it's uh, completely free uh, if you will use this item uh, next change faction it costs like 10,000 gems if not um, no, I'm not mistaken so you need to spend this item wisely that's why like I will share my your experience I have thought about changing faction many times uh, sometimes my city theme was kind of boring sometimes whenever I was not performing well uh, on the battlefield 
um, I thought the problem was faction. Uh, but in general, like with my own experience, I can give you the uh, advice when to change the faction. If you have played this game already for some time, uh, you should already have uh, determined which kind of unit type you are going to. I'm speaking mostly about free-to-play players right now, right? Uh, if you have played this game like f four, five, six months, you already decided which unit type is your main. For example, for myself, my main unit type is marksman. Uh, that's why I have mostly marksman legendary heroes. Uh, my main uh, type is marksman. Nico Kinara, Sindrion and Freigar, uh, Craig is awakened, uh, Gwenwin is awakened. So. For myself, I, ho I have already de decided uh, which kind of unit types I will main and I will use mostly during battlefield. After that, uh, I can easily decide uh, which faction will be more suitable for me. Uh, and it's uh, actually uh, Wilderberg, because Wilderberg are more marksman unit type uh, faction than any of other factions. Of course, uh, faction bonus uh, legion physical attack uh, plus, plus 3% is good, but it's not a game changer. Uh, like, like most important uh, thing about Wilderberg is that like Wyverns are marksman units, uh, which is a great thing to have as a marksman uh, main, because you will have additional legion uh, as a special unit. Uh, uh, also, uh, spearmans, uh, spearmans are getting additional damage dealt bonus, like purely you will be uh, dealing more damage by being uh, Wilderberg than any other uh, faction. Uh, but let's say you guys chose to play um, mages and you have a couple of mage legions, then I would suggest you to play and change the faction to League of Orders. Especially because Celestials are mages too, uh, like in general, uh, mage Westels of the League of Order are getting HP uh, and you are simply get, getting more tanky if we're gonna take into the consideration that faction bonus is also 3%, which means you will be tanky, you will fight from the range, it's more safe option and uh, I would highly recommend to go for mages, like myself I went marksman because um, like uh, I at first I chose Spring Wardens because I thought it was a marksman uh, uh, faction, but more I play this game, more I understand that it's Wilderberg, not Spring Wardens. That's why I'm trying to, uh, like I'm deciding to change the faction to Wilderberg. So if you are mage and you are listening to almost every single content creator uh, who is advising to start mages, which is right, you will change your faction to League of Order if you have not taken one. Uh, if you are playing more of a cavalry uh, style, um, like you don't like to participate in wars, you like more flanking, more 1v1 um, style of gameplay, then you should go for Spring Wardens. Uh, it's a cavalry unit type uh, faction. Uh, you are getting more and more benefits uh, with playing cavalry on Spring Wardens. Uh, actually, uh, whenever I started playing the Call of Dragons, I went for Spring Wardens because I thought it was marksman uh, uh, faction and also it gave me Lord of the Rings wipe um, my favorite uh, trilogy ever so yeah I got mistaken that's why I'm still currently Spring Wardens and I'm I'm slowly deciding to change to Wilderberg so yeah uh, this is like main uh, advice if you have already decided to which uh, mm, unit type will be your main. If it's marksman, go for Wilderberg. If it's mages, go for League of Order. If it's cavalry, uh, go for uh, Spring Wardens. Also, if you are infantry, like feel free to try every single faction, um, because in my opinion, if you are main in infantry, you are paid to wing player. You are spending a lot in this game because infantry is only viable for tier five players. And yeah, hopefully soon we're gonna get a faction, the fourth one, which will be uh, mainly for infantry units, and we will have more to speak uh, regarding faction. Uh, another reason, the third reason why you should change the faction uh, while playing this game for a like couple of months already is uh, gameplay situation, right? Uh, there are like couple of bonuses in uh, faction uh, bonuses, which is great, um, especially for fighters, for pay to win players, which is like Legion March Speed bonus and Elixir Production Speed. Like every single percentage in Elixir Production Speed is important because whenever you are fighting for hours, uh, especially pay to win players, uh, you will want more elixir production speed because like that's your only and main gameplay. 
I would only recommend um, to change factions only for that reasons. Uh, reason for players who already have tier 5 units, they already finished like almost every single research, uh, they have like at least 1 million tier 5 each unit and uh, they are seeking every single bonus which is uh, possibly to get in the game. And they are taking religious, they are always uh, seeking for the mana stone of the elixir production and they want more faction uh, bonus from the elixir production speed, which is quite nice, especially if you are playing uh, the uh, Spring Wardens faction and Cavalry's faction, you're gonna get March speed and in general I think uh, March speed for Cavalry units and flying units are uh, main idea. Also, uh, like one is one main occasion why you should change faction if you mainly play for flying units and uh, that's the love uh, from you to the game that we have flying units in the Call of Dragons. I don't think there is another uh, kingdom builder game where, where you can see flying uh, heroes and flying units. Then the s things can might change for you uh, because like if you want to get highest value from the flying units there is one special flying unit which is above everyone uh, and it's pretty easy to understand which one it's League of Order Celestials. Now, uh, like it's been a while uh, like since the day one Celestials have been best special special unit uh, units in the game. So like if your main gameplay is to uh, like play with flying units and you are collecting as much flying heroes as possible like already we are getting Bertrand which will make uh, Celestials much much better in the future then yep League of Order is your faction and uh, if you are not playing as a League of Order go for it uh, you will enjoy the flying gameplay of the Celestials um, also like I, as I said, uh, like now I will speak about my own situation. Um, I have um, Nikon Kinara, I have uh, uh, Syndrome and Freigar, I got lucky. I'm a free-to-play player from the season-ending rewards. Also, I have Gwenwin and Craig Awakened, right? Uh, that's why I have been thinking. At first, I had a temptation to change to League of Orders because uh, Celestials are great and in general... Uh, mage gameplay is amazing, you are having a lot of fun, especially if you have uh, Phoenix Eye in your inventory and uh, equipped on your uh, Mage Legion, it will deal a lot of damage. But then, like, I need to think about my past investments in the game. Uh, when I decided to s to play as a marksman, I, I should continue, because now if I will make a mistake and choose a wrong faction, um, it will have a big impact on my future progress, so... That's why all the time, uh, like almost every day, I'm thinking about changing the faction. Uh, like I think, uh, especially whenever we are going to enter to season TI, uh, the long range warfare, which gonna give marksman units uh, almost same range as mages, will be important. And I think I should not miss this opportunity to have fun. And that's why I would advise every single marksman player to change to Wilderburg, to use these y ones to use these um, spearmans, to use this Legion physical attack 3% and, ch and choose the uh, long range warfare. Uh, like for now I'm not sure if it's the best option on those talents but at least you will have a lot of fun. If you have been playing marksman since the day one you will have you understand a lot of struggle which marksman legions have uh, slow slow march speed, the, your range is never enough, uh, mages are destroying you, so finally it's our time next season, season TI will be our time to have a lot of fun uh, in this game. Uh, also, like uh, uh, there is another reason why people change uh, the faction, which I think is a big mistake. Now they are on, like generally getting bored um, by playing a uh, one faction all the time or uh, for a long time period. Now uh, that's a mistake. Uh, don't get bored. Uh, like whenever you are playing any kingdom bu kingdom builder game, uh, you need to understand that it's a grind. Uh, especially if you have not spent even a single dollar like me in this game. Uh, it's a grind. Um, every single research, whenever you are progressing uh, in the game, costs a lot of time. Like, for example, I'm star I just started this defensive formation uh, 9, and it will take uh, 38 days, and that's not even nothing. Uh, like, uh, 22 days, you will have, like, 68 days. So, this game is grind. Don't expect to, like, to change everything every single week or every single month. 
Uh, updates are coming uh, in a good way, but that's normal for Kingdom Builder games. Uh, like, good for us that Call of Dragons is giving us more and more content to make it more fun uh, in this grind. And yeah, you, at least we are getting new heroes, new updates, new patches, so, like, it's a grind. Uh, yeah, if you will decide uh, which, uh, like, for example, you are playing Spring Wardens since the day one, like me, right? And yeah, like, sometimes even I thought that maybe I should change faction, maybe I will have a different gameplay. Trust me, if you will change faction only for that reason, uh, because you got bored, you will get bored, uh, like, in one month, whenever you're gonna change faction. And yeah, currently in the game we have only three factions, so if you will change, like, factions every single month, you will get bored from the game and you will leave. So yeah, trust me, uh, try to be as valuable as possible. Think about your next action. Uh, like every single faction has its own order and its own gameplay. Uh, and try to understand those gameplays. At first try to understand what you want to do in this game. Uh, like which kind of unit type you want to prefer, which uh, heroes you are going to main, which heroes you are going to awaken. Uh, which artifacts you have uh, in order to choose which legion type is your main. So there is a lot of uh, thought process behind every single move because whenever you are already on a late game and every single click might make you wait for days and months, uh, you need to have a good plan and follow that plan. Um, like honestly, I think I'm going to change my faction in Season TI and I will be Wilderberg. Let's see how everything will went. I hope uh, this... A small guide and small conversational video will be helpful for you. Um, and yeah, if you have a different opinion, if you have a different idea uh, regarding like changing faction, when it's good, when it's you should not, uh, at least it's free. Uh, you can try it, but whenever something is free, there is also big temptations and uh, like sometimes you might make a mistake. That was the main uh, idea why I wanted to make uh, this um, video regarding changing the faction. And also, yeah, I finally decided for myself which which faction will be my future faction, and yeah, I wanted to share that too. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the content and if you enjoy the videos I'm trying to make, uh, like I will be more than happy if you will like, uh, comment, share, and subscribe. It always brings smile on my face whenever channel is progressing slowly and whenever we are having uh, like small conversations on comment section. Thanks for watching, I hope you are having an amazing day, night and morning, depending where, wherever you are. I'm gonna see you very very soon. Bye bye.